So, you're on a desert island, and you're starving. You find a bush filled with berries. You eat a few, but start to feel sick. A local, hey, I thought this was uninhabited. They tell you that eating watermelons and grapes will get rid of the poison, but apples and carrots will make things worse. In front of you, there are tomatoes, cabbages, oranges. Which one do you eat? Tomatoes! Like watermelons and grapes, they also grow on vines, unlike the rest. You're lost in the desert with just one bottle of water. But you don't know where the nearest water source is. What do you do? Cover yourself with your backpack to avoid sweating? Walk as quickly as you can to find water? Find shade and rest! The best option is the last one. When it gets dark, you can walk further and find help. While sightseeing in a town, a volcano erupts nearby. There's no lava coming out, just thick black smoke. You see three potential routes to safety. Which one do you take? A tall lighthouse is a few feet away. A basement. A car in front of you. Go to the basement and close the door behind you. Lava smoke travels fast, and it can reach the tallest point of the lighthouse. It's 3 p.m., and while walking in the middle of a desert, you come across a tall tower with a crazy scientist living there. He tells you that if you want to make it out alive, you must calculate the height of his tower. What do you use? Fallen tree branches? Your shadow? Your watch? Your shadow! Since you know how tall you are, you can calculate how many times your shadow fits into the tower shadow. You're at a water park, and you've been taken captive by a supervillain. He takes you to the highest point of the park and shows you three slides. An orange one, a green one, and a yellow one. One leads to a pool filled with acid, one to a tropical paradise, and the other to a volcano filled with lava. The supervillain tells you, in a parallel world, the purple slide leads to freedom. Which one do you choose? The yellow slide. Yellow is the opposite of purple. You're on a trip into the wild. A huge angry elephant has spotted you, and it's running towards you. What do you do? Run down a steep slope leading to a river. Climb up a tall tree right next to you. Run straight towards some other animals, hoping it'll lose sight of you. Run down the steep slope. Elephants avoid areas with high elevation to stop themselves being injured. During a camping trip, you realize you have no water. But you're very thirsty. There are three ways to get water. Which one is the least dangerous? Harvest some from a cactus. Drink the water from a stagnant lake. Take some water from a flowing river. Cactus water isn't the safest, and a stagnant lake is filled with bacteria and parasites. The least dangerous option is the flowing river. You've been stuck in the wild for days, and you have no idea which way leads to civilization. Which side do you follow? A plane passing overhead? A flowing river? A group of animals? Your best bet is the river. Since the beginning of time, people have built villages along riverbanks. 
a mysterious biologist invites you to his home for dinner. He takes you down to the basement and puts three plates of weird items on the table. One has wild white mushrooms with white gills. The second is filled with castor beans. The third has some fish brains. Which one is safe to eat? The plate of fish brains is the only dish that isn't poisonous. But the dinner isn't over yet. You're taken into a room with three large tanks filled with salt water. You must stay in one of them for five minutes. The biologist promises to set you free if you make it out alive. The first contains six great white sharks. The second has 70 piranhas. The last one is filled with dangerous box jellyfish. Which could you survive in? In the second tank, piranhas are freshwater fish. They can't survive in salt water. You're leading an expedition to the North Pole. As you're sailing there, a huge chunk of ice falls into the water, causing a large wave to come your way. What do you tell your crew to do? Stop the ship and stay until the wave passes? Start moving in the opposite direction. Keep going and lean into the wave as it hits. Leaning into the wave is the only way to get some balance. Anything else will cause your ship to capsize. You're stuck in a room that's slowly filling up with water. Help is 6 minutes away. The water will reach the ceiling in just 2 minutes. But on the floor, there's a tree branch, a straw, a bucket. Which one will buy you some time? The bucket. Flip it over your head and it'll create an air bubble that will allow you to breathe for a while. While out camping, you come across an angry brown bear that's coming closer and closer to you. What should you do? Start running as fast as you can. Fall to the ground and pretend you're unconscious. Stay still and don't move. Fall to the ground. That way, the bear won't see you as a threat. Oliver is trapped in the freezing north. David is lost in the desert without any clothes. Who will collapse first? David. The cold weather makes Oliver shiver. His muscles tighten and loosen very fast to keep him warm. But David quickly becomes dehydrated in the sun. While walking through a dense jungle, you get bitten on the leg by a venomous snake. How can you survive? By drawing the venom out with your mouth. Washing the wound with water and a cloth. By tying your leg with a piece of your shirt. Tying your leg will prevent the venom from reaching the rest of your body. As you're driving down the road, you come across a fallen tree blocking your way. You get out of the car and try to move it, but then you see a huge tornado coming towards you. Boy, it's not your day. How will you survive? Get back in your car and drive fast in the opposite direction. Climb up the sturdiest tree, find a ditch on the ground and stay there until the tornado passes. The last one. If the tornado passes over you, it won't sweep you up. You walk into a room, and right when you close the door, it catches fire. There's no way out, but firefighters are on their way. How will you buy yourself some time until help arrives? By lying flat on the floor. By climbing onto a chair to avoid the flames. By standing in the corner of the room. It's the first option. Smoke travels upwards toward the ceiling, so lying flat on the floor will help you to breathe. You're trapped in a maze inside an abandoned castle. You can pick only one door to stay alive. 
The first one leads to a room filled with sharp blades and knives. The second has dozens of venomous snakes and spiders. Behind the third door, there's an electrified moat. Which one do you pick? The last door. Since this is an abandoned castle, you can flip the light switch to check if it has electricity, and then go through there. A creepy professor has taken you to his secret island. He wants to see how smart you are. He presents you with, guess what, three doors, but only one is safe. The first one leads to five of the most dangerous people on Earth. The second leads to a room with a powerful laser and mirrors on the wall. The third leads to a lab filled with radioactive waste. Which is the least dangerous option? The first door. It'll be easier to deceive the people there into letting you walk free. You're lost in an ancient cave system, and you come across three tunnels. You must swim through them to the exit. The first is filled with lava. The second has stagnant water containing bacteria and parasites. The third contains cornstarch mixed with water. Which one is the least dangerous to go through? Stagnant water is your best option. Lava will burn you, and cornstarch water will swallow you in just a few minutes. Good luck!